Is this worth buying? I'll let you know right now. Watashi no namai wa token to kyu des. Welcome to the channel. Manga noob in this. I'm back with another review. We got ourselves here. Love in hell. Love in hell. Basically, the premise of this story is this guy by the name of Senkawa Rintaro. This guy in his mid 20s. He ends up passing away dying. Then he goes to hell. Right off the bat, the way he dies, he was tipsy, fell down the stairs, and died. That's how the f this happens, man. Then all of a sudden, he's in hell. While in hell, Rintaro ends up seeing Koyori, chick right here, which is kind of like his guide and all that. And she basically, you know, shows him the ropes and how things goes in hell. And in hell, the way it works and all that, People are actually living normal lives, so there's a lot of people that's in hell and everything. It's not just our main character, there's other people too. Where you got people working, doing things like that. They got a money system, which is called Vexes. And with Vexes, they use that to buy stuff like clothing, food, and all that stuff. To get Vexes, you gotta go through torture and things like that too. And in hell, you can f***ing get your head splattered and shit. Die then come back the next day. By doing so, you get paid. This is what these motherfuckers are dealing with in hell, man. Fucking crazy. Now look, this is a short series. I said it already in some of my editor reviews. I don't go really in depth. I, this is not no spoilers type of shit I'm doing here. I'm just telling you a little of the premise and that's it. I'm not here to give you exactly what the fuck is going on. And I'm here to tell you if this is something that you should buy or not. And with little series like these, very small series that you could read in one shot, which I didn't read in one shot, but I don't know. Maybe it's just my motherfucking patience. I go with a score that's five okay there's a five point system and now you're gonna probably like if you see my edit reviews i don't really tell you how exactly i do this pointing system you know i could say oh yeah you know uh, the character development is it good or not no it's not good minus one right there that's how i kind of do it though if there's something that bothers me I, I that's how i start going down you know so for me when it comes to the characters and everything there's not many characters in the story whatsoever really there isn't rintaro from start to end I mean, he kind of goes through some sort of a development, but not really much. The story itself, it's not like it's anything crazy. It's just basically a guy living day by day, getting punished so he can get paid and all that. There is a lot of comedy moments, I'd say, in the story. There's a bit of fan service, not much of it though. Now we're talking about the art as well. Well, the art, you know, there's some of, you know, some basic stuff like this, you know, nothing uh, that's gonna blow your mind. One thing I could appreciate though is that the mangaka, he had some spoiler free notes that you'll see in every chapter. So you kind of get this little connection you feel with the mangaka and everything. But you know what, that's pretty cool. I can't say anything about that because when you're reading you're like, okay, you know, this guy is, uh, he's trying to connect with us in a certain way to let us know what the hell he's thinking and all that. This guy is some pervert. This guy is some perverted f that's all I know. I got a little tongue twisted. F I can't speak fast. Jesus Christ, man. If you saw my collection video, you know that I was talking about the art in this series. I showed this here. And you know what, man? I wish it was like that, though. If this whole series had something like this, kind of like a dark art style, I would have been down with this, man. You know what I mean? So I can't really, when it comes to the art, I don't know, man. I can't really say I was down with it for the most part, only for little moments like that. The story is not like it's anything crazy, except for, okay, you would think, yeah, the guy's in hell. It is crazy. Of course you're in fucking hell, but I don't know. There's a little bit of that comedy thing going on too. There's a lot of it, actually. I can't say there's a, there's a, there's a quite few of it, actually, but I would wanted that dark 
style with a bit of that comedy and maybe more of that fan service and this would have been like up there. Now the Raiden, you know what I gave All You Need Is Kill, you can watch that video. And you know what I gave Solonen, you can watch that video too. Those are both small series. This, I was stuck actually between three and two out of five. I would say buy this only if it's freaking cheap though. Like if it's cheap, I actually paid a little too much for this. And I don't know what the f I was doing, man. So I, you know, I did that. I don't know why. I'm still gonna give it three out of five just because there was funny moments although i wish that the art was a little bit darker and everything like that and the story wasn't like all that i still had a bit of a laugh here and there and you know like i said the fan service i maybe it could have been more than what i would want it but other than that i mean the connection that the mangaka has with the readers with the notes that he has in each chapter and all that that's probably the only reason why i'm giving it a three out of five because i felt like this connection with the guy in some way but honestly this could have been a two out of five as well and if it was a two out of five i would have said don't fucking buy this shit. but i'm not saying buy this shit as well so that's why it's hard because i don't know if this is for everyone you know what i mean so look it's really up to you. I would say just wait and see if the price is, you know, wait until the price is freaking low on this. Check it out, man. I said, I would, I would say still check it out. It's still, I mean, it's not that big, but I'm going to give it a three out of five. You know, I'm going to just, I'll give it a three out of five. I'll just say you're lucky that you took motherfucking notes because if you didn't take those notes, forget it, man. I think I would have given it a two out of five. That's pretty much it. I like to keep it short when it comes to these little series and all that. You know how it is. That's pretty much it. And that's all I gotta say. So, thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to the channel. Like, do all that stuff if you want. You know I always bring the content though. So, I'm gonna end it with, you know what? Let's flip the page. Ha!